Well, big changes are in store for the San Antonio International Airport in the next few years. Now, with the help of design renderings and a 3D model, we're getting our first look at the new terminal that's planned for the airport. And joining us now to talk about it, of course, is Tim O'Connolly, Deputy Director at the San Antonio Airport System. First of all, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for being with us. You know, when these designs were released, I was automatically <laughs> impressed wow, yeah. by it. Um, but, you know, just quoting the city manager, he sort of said, this is the most important capital project in San Antonio's history. So let's talk a little bit in, ab about the project and remind folks what this all entails, because it is a lot. It is. And it's a transformational program. It's really a program. It includes the terminal and other projects. But we started master planning <clears throat> a couple years ago, and then it led us into kind of taking it a little bit further into where we are today. And now we're moving from the planning stage to the design stage. And the terminal itself could be up to 17 gates. And just to give you a scope of the project, it could be uh, up to 850,000 square feet. That's bigger than the two current terminals today combined. So in addition yeah. to the, the amount of gates and concession space, we really want to create a sense of space for the city and the community. And one of the unique uh, concepts that we have in here is to do what's called a, a paseo. Normally when you uh, get to the curb into the building, they're abutted next to each other. So what our designers came up with is to, you know, how do you define San Antonio? And there's so many opportunities. Mm -hmm. But what we can all agree on is, you know, outdoors and, and you know, the enjoyment that we do with tre tre trees and water. And so they've taken that concept with a paseo. Mm -hmm. And so now when you get off the curb into the building, there'll be kind of like a dry creek bed. Nice. And you'll cross bridges, you know, our bridge history with the river walk and parks. And that's how you enter the building. And Tim, uh, you know, it, been to the airport many times, and, and it, there's so much that celebrates our culture here in San Antonio that, that you walk into the airport, you see that. Uh, but Mayor Nirenberg also said that uh, these additions will make San Antonio Airport more competitive mm -hmm. in the aviation industry. Talk about that. So it was for a variety of ways. One, the gate holds, you know, like current Terminal A, they were built with different aircraft and travelers in mind. So we'll have more space, more opportunities. We're going to move the customs facility into the new terminal, which will allow, you know, for larger aircraft to come in. Um, we're going to have more concession space, things like club rooms. Uh, the airlines have talked to us about potentially wanting more club space. So it, we're really, this terminal is designed for today's travelers, today's aircraft which makes us more competitive. Absolutely, yeah. and the demand for it, because yeah, the demand absolutely. is there, mm -hmm. yeah, especially it is. at this airport, right? Right. Mm -hmm. um, and it also interesting, just this last week, we're talking about a $20 million grant, right? Yeah. From the, hey, another big news coming from the airport <laughs> again. Uh, so explain to us how this works and what this will benefit. So the bipartisan infrastructure law, uh, we applied for a grant. We have great partners with the FAA, and we received $20 million. That's for a ground load facility. So what a ground load facility is, it's a little different than a normal terminal, and we're adding on to current Terminal A. We really want to be able to serve all markets in San Antonio, and the ultra-low-cost carriers, or ULCCs, like this model. So we want to open up to, again, create traffic and more opportunities. And you see it in Burbank, Denver's building one, Florida. And it's, uh, instead of using a jet bridge, you just walk out onto the terminal and you can load faster. And, you know, those type of carriers want that model. So we're going to accommodate it for them. Tim, we only have a little bit of time left, sure. but I know a thing on everyone's mind is, so when I go to the airport, <laughs> will I be able to get an in and out faster? Will this help with uh, crowds and lines and things? Like Absolutely. So we're putting in a central checkpoint, which will be able to get into all the terminals quicker and faster, newer technology. You'll be impressed at what we're going to do. Awesome. And this will take a while, obviously. This is yeah. going to take some time. Yeah. We're looking to open the terminal in second quarter of 2028. We'll have other enabling projects that will come online before that, though. Tim, we appreciate Perfect. your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you Thanks for being for joining with us, thank us you. this morning. We look yeah. forward to it. And for all the information, if you'd like to see all that, we have a link on our website at kens5.com. Let's send it on over to Maggie.